Hey guys, welcome to another Beat Face Fridays and today I'm doing something very quick and easy for spring and I'm going to start out with my NYX eyeshadow base and I'm going to put that all over the lid and underneath the lash line, the bottom lash line. Next I'm going to take a new product that I have bought. Um, this is the Jordana eyebrow powder and this one is in Auburn. And I'm going to rub that into the crease for a nice warm transition color. And I'm going to use my nice fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to work that in and make it um, a nice gradient. Next, I'm going to go into my Sleek Storm palette. And I'm going to highlight my brow with this matte beige color. I don't have any bright color conceal underneath my brows today something a little bit more natural so the transition isn't as harsh but something that you could wear like every day so I'm just patting it into the concealer that I have there and making sure that it's nice and set and just blending it out now I'm going to take this very beautiful coppery goldy color um, I got that from a store an online store called BF Beauties and I'm using the sponge tip applicator that comes with the Storm palette. And I find that this is good for packing on very shimmery colors because it doesn't have a lot of fallout. Whatever they do with that sponge or whatever type of sponge they have, it works really well for this type of application. Then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and blend the two colors together. Next, I'm going to take a clean color pencil and I'm just going to line my um, bottom lash line. Now this step is optional, you don't have to do it with such a bright color or you can switch it up for whatever color you wish. But I just thought that this was very spring like and I just extended it up in a wing liner. And I'm going to take the black from the same Sleek Storm palette and line my top lash line. So as you can see I have the aqua color on the bottom and I'm just going to follow that now with the black eyeliner on the top. Nothing true to my head or anything like that, just a bit extended but it's, it's really nice and pretty. So I'm just going to take a brush now and smudge it out. Now you can set it with a powder but I chose not to do it in this particular instance. And I'm going to take my Too Faced um, Lash Gaza Mascara and I'm just going to put on a good couple coats. Be very very generous. And I'm then going to blur it now with Milani's Power Lash to give it some volume. Next I'm going to set my face with my Constance Carol Powder. And I'm going to do that for the center of my face because I want something nice and bright without being too over dramatic. But it gives the center of my face a really nice light. And then I'm going to set the, the rest of my face down with my normal um, matte foundation, the loose, the loose powder in Dark Deep. I'm just going to rub that all over the rest of my face and down my neck too. Next I'm going to use my e.l.f. bronzer. And I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheeks. No contouring, no blush today. Just something very light and fresh for spring. Very easy. Once I've done that, I'm going to line my lips with a pink lip liner. And I'm going to put this um, Wet n Wild lipstick all over. Um, this one is called Nouveau Pink. Um, it's a bit brighter than I thought it would be. So I just decided to pair it with a slightly darker pink lip liner. So I'm just going to fill in the outside of my lips and mash them together, rub them together a little bit. And then I'm going to apply the lipstick all over. So thank you guys for watching. This is my completed look. Um, take a minute to subscribe and check me out on all of my blogs and whatnot. And I will see you all guys next week. Bye.